Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Looking good over here. Looking good over here. Looking good in the center. Got my coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good morning. Good morning, Jerry Crocker. First man in. Um, I wish I could uh, give out a prize for the first person showing up because then you'd get, you know, the prize, whatever it is. It could be like a chicken. It could be anything. But you do get props. So, uh, Jerry, uh, you're the first guy. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, welcome to Art Talk. Uh, I hope you're having a good morning. I hope you're feeling better, feeling not so negative, feeling a little bit positive today. Yes. Uh, Yeti Mora. Uh, good morning, Jeremy Glaze. Good morning. What's up, people? What is going on with everybody? I uh, hope you're prepared, prepared today for an epic art talk, uh, an amazing epic art talk. We're going to wait for a couple couple of seconds here, let some more people roll in as we get started. And uh, we got some uh, uh, thumbs up happening. Yvonne, good morning, Yvonne. Uh, thanks for joining us from Huntington Beach. I think that's where you're from, Yvonne. Am I correct? Okay. Um, let me know where you are, guys, uh, where you're tuning in from. Bill Bastian, uh, where are you from, Bill? Uh, let me know where you're from. Uh, it's always important to realize that this, this place that we call home, this globe, this ball, this sphere, it's pretty tiny. It's pretty tiny in the scheme of things. Cindy, good morning. Um, Greg Gill says, haircut looking good. Yeah, I'm just kind of smooth. Um, I move a lot faster through the, the fireball sphere whatever that is. Uh, Placentia. Yvonne is in Placentia. Greg Gill is in Altadena. I know that. Chris Moody. Uh, Boogaloo from Germany. Okay, we got some people across the globe on the other. See, we're here, and they're like, you know, somewhere like that, uh, quite a ways away. Uh, today's art talk. Very exciting today. Lots of cool stuff going on. It's uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. What that means, not necessarily mean anything. Other than it's the second day of the week and it's the second day, second chance you have to make this week spectacular. And I'm here to help. I'm here to help because my name is Fireball. Uh, you guys know. And this is Art Talk episode 10. 10 already. 10 episodes. Pretty cool. Um, not quite like what the vlog is at 905 episodes. Uh, 906 coming soon. Coming very soon. Lots of stuff this weekend to be able to, to cover. Uh, we got Lawrence Flinton, who's going to be coming to the vlog uh, with his amazing cars. Lawrence is a chef. He might join us today. Uh, what else we got? Um, uh, it is live. We are Facebook Live, as you guys know. So you can not only ask me questions and interact with me uh, and talk about anything that you want, that you're desiring. We want to stay focused as best we can. Good morning, Chris. Thanks for joining us. Chris Erickson. Uh, Chris, let me know where you're from. Post it down here. And uh, we are live, so you not only can talk to me, you can interact with each other. You can say, hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, morning from Minden, Nevada. That's where Cindy's from, Nevada. Uh, cool. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but my dad is a, a fairly good-sized Hollywood writer. And when I was a kid, he was writing uh, Bonanza from the Ponderosa. He was writing Bonanza, episodes of Bonanza. I think he wrote about eight episodes of Bonanza. Every time Ben Carre would get married... Uh, and, uh, he would, my dad would have to figure out a way to kill off, um, Ben's wife. So that's kind of the way it worked. It was called the Cartwright curse. So, uh, the three boys, that's why they didn't look alike because they had three different moms. Huh, go figure. That's a little snippet, little, uh, story there. Uh, Chris Erickson's from San Diego. Excellent. David Neal's watching from the Murphy Museum. Good morning, David. Long time no talk. And there we are. Uh, I hope a little Max is watching with you. Maybe, maybe not. But today's art talk, um... As a reminder, we have Wheels and Waves. That's this Sunday. Uh, David says, good morning from the road and San Luis Obispo. Excellent. Great town. Love that place. Um, don't necessarily watch this while you're driving. Maybe listen. You know, don't don't end up around, uh, you know, ruining anything that you're driving that's cool. Okay? Um, Wheels and Waves is Sunday. If you guys got nothing to do, I know that the classic auto show is happening this, this weekend. Also, great show. Going to be a spectacular show. But it is all day long, so you could have time to come to Wheels and Waves if you want to hang out. Um, a little update for the books. Uh, you guys know that we do coloring books. That's our, our job here at Fireball Publishing. Kathy is literally upstairs right now working on the history of surfing, which is going to be a spectacular book. Uh, she has a quick sketch here. This is going to be the cover. I'll show you guys this. Just don't show anybody. Uh, can you see that? That's the Duke. That's the Duke. That's going to be the cover of the History of Surfing book. And I'm going to show you a little secret. Uh, good morning. Uh, Chris is from the Secret Car Club. 
super cool organization. You guys got to check them out. I think it's secretcarclub.com. Chris, uh, post your link uh, in the notes there. Let these guys know where they can they can look you up. Who else have we got? Uh, Bill Wendy Cervantes. Uh, wow, that's a cool name. I like that name. That's awesome. Uh, here is a sketch from my next book, which uh, premieres April 1st, or right around there. I'm doing Porsches. You guys want to see a Porsche? Ready? This is the number three sketch, actually. That's the number three sketch. There's a Porsche. Yep. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Um, all right. Uh, who else we got? Uh, got some notes coming in from... Uh, from Facebook Messenger also at the same time. Okay, uh, let's get into today's Art Talk. Uh, my goal here on Art Talk is to help you guys as creative people, uh, to which we all are, doesn't matter what business you're in, doesn't matter what you're pursuing, doesn't matter which direction you're going, uh, we are creative people as human beings. Our job on Earth here is to create things, is to create things, that's what we do. We can create a, create a car, we can create a pen, uh, we can create this really cool brush, it's got my name on it backwards. Um, we create things. That's what we are. We are creative beings. And as, cre cre as we are creative beings, our job is to evolve from over here, being ignorant of the fact that we are super powerful, pretty much can do anything we want. Uh, there's the Secret Car Club. Be sure to check those out, guys. Uh, to, to awareness over here, to, to aware that we are capable of anything uh, we set our minds to. And today's topic... Uh, I want to uh, to address something that that keeps coming up for a lot of you guys. Uh, keeps from, I get a lot of emails, probably about a hundred a day uh, in now in dealing with Art Talk, where people are asking questions because they don't have the ability to to hang out with us here live, but they can go to YouTube and they can watch it there. So if you miss an episode, you can go on YouTube and watch it. Uh, you can subscribe to our blog at fireballtim.com and do that. Um, but um, the the topic for today is to convince yourself of the truth. And the thing about that is it's kind of a tricky, it's a tricky term. Uh, Mark Green says, hey, Fireball, I'm flying your way today to shoot more Cars Yeah TV shows. Yes, uh, check out Cars Yeah from Mark Green. Very cool show, very cool podcast um, and radio show. So convincing yourself of the truth. Um, here's the thing about the truth. Uh, whether it's true or not, it's true. And my point is that truth is whatever is true for you. And this is why... We all have a lot of problems in our lives or challenges, let's call them challenges, uh, positive challenges, because every problem that we face is there for us to learn something, some kind of process. But, you know, when, when you talk about lawyers and why there's a lot of lawyers and there's a lot of uh, courtroom battles and things like that, is that people have different perceptions of the truth. Uh, what is true for me is what's going to be different for you based on my perception, okay, based on the way I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it from over here, you're looking at it from over here. Now. The thing about that is that you could put um, 20 people in a room with a purple car and you're going to get 20 different opinions about that car. And each one is going to be true for them. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be badass. It's going to be way too loud. It's going to be understated. Uh, all those perceptions are different. Now, the thing we don't realize about truth is that most people base their truths on what they see with these things right here. See these things? These are little little like glass orbs, and we look out of those things. And the images that come into our eyeballs, uh, we establish a truth based on what we see. And unfortunately, that's backwards from the way things actually are, is that things are not true because we see them that way. Things are true because we decide in our mind based on what we're seeing that it's true. Does that make sense? It makes sense? You guys still with me? Uh, Fumihiro is with us. Michael Short is with us. Uh, let us know where you guys are. Let everybody know where on the planet you are. We got people from Germany, people all over the place. Okay, so truth is about perception. There is a, a, a really short microscopic period of time that happens when you look out your eyes and then you, you establish what is true for you, what you see. And that microscopic point of time is called choice. You are choosing that this is true or not, this is good or bad, and as Shakespeare said, whether it's good or bad, it's true. You know, I, he didn't really say that, but he said something like that, is that however you perceive something, whether you like it or you don't like it, it's true. Uh, and it comes down to whether if you feel that you can accomplish something as a creative person, or you can't accomplish something, you're right, okay? So, and, and my point is that 
and you guys have heard this before, is that you're making a microscopic choice in that moment to decide whether you can or you can't. And I'm here. I'm here to tell you on our talk that no matter what it is, no matter what it is that you put your mind to and you decide you can accomplish. I don't care if you want to be a billionaire. I don't care if you want to be, if you're 50 years old and you want to be president of the United States. Uh, um, that's okay. Because anybody, obviously, obviously anybody can be president of the United States. Um, so my point is that when you choose, when you make a conscious decision and you say, screw that, I'm going to do this, then you're, there is a point at which you accept the truth. So you make a choice and then you accept that choice as truth. And then you begin to work towards that, that accumulation. You begin to move those feet. As they say in the Bible, when you pray, move your feet. Don't just sit there and pray like, oh, please, 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 please. You got to make sure you get off your ass, move your feet and do stuff. Okay. And that energy that you put out there, that's what causes things to occur based on the direction, based on the choice that you made, based on the truth that you've accepted. Okay. Does that make, make sense? Make sense to you guys? Thumbs up, thumbs up. Make sense? Okay, good. Um, our perception of the world, uh, the situation, uh, it's more about, you know, when you think, when you, when you dissect choice, you have to make sure that you are, you're choosing something that's empowering, something for you, something that you want. Uh, most people, when they see with their eyes, it's a crapshoot. It's like going to Vegas and playing craps, you know. Well, it's not, it's, it, that's worse, actually, because you're not going to win that hardly ever. But when you make a, a choice, you either have a, a choice that's good for you or a choice that's maybe not so good for you. Um, but there's relative um, variations of that. And you want to choose what's best for you, which is why when, as an example, somebody says something to you and you react because you see that person talk and you hear them and you just get mad and then you give them back a bit of what it is that they're giving you. And this is how uh, arguments start. This is how wars start. This is how all the strifes in the world occur. Instead of taking a moment to choose and say, what do I want out of this situation? So if you have a, a challenge with an employer, with an employee, uh, if you have a challenge of having to do something that you don't really want to do, something that's difficult for you, then uh, you want to make choices based on a conscious decision. Remember, ignorance is over here, consciousness is over here this battle, right? We want this get the pulled over to awareness. And awareness is simply your ability to realize that you have a choice in everything. There isn't anything that you don't have a choice in. You have a choice. And even to do nothing is a choice. Hold on. Taking a sip of coffee. Yeah. My cup. Thank you, Brad from Canada. A choice is probably one of the most powerful things, but the what I'm going to ask you guys this question. What are the two most powerful words in the human language? It doesn't really matter which language, but for English, our perception to be able to say these two words, does anybody know what those two words are? I'll give you about, you know, five seconds. Anybody? What's the two most powerful words in the human's li human language? How about so cool? No, that's, that's not what it is. But so cool. Uh, yes, no, says Jerry Crocker. Uh, uh, in a way, in a way, the two most powerful words in the human language are I am. I am because after you say I am, you get a choice. You get a choice to establish whatever it is that you want. You can say, I am sick. I am overweight. I am healthy. I am uh, financially free. I am broke. You get all these choices, right? But people don't realize it's a choice. People only react to situations around them. And then based on what they see with their eyes, they choose sometimes poorly, sometimes unwisely. I am mad and I'm going to give that person a piece of my mind, right? I am, uh, uh, I'm hungry in the middle of the night and you go down, down an entire cake, you know, whatever it is. Uh, so, uh, when you realize that life is an a la carte menu, and that you get to choose, like you're sitting at the at the table of life, and you got this massive menu, and you get to go and choose whichever you want, and it's all free, because it is. It's all free. You know. I mean, you got to work towards it, but essentially, your the choice that you get to make doesn't cost you anything. You can choose, but you have to choose wisely. It's important to to recognize that. I want you guys to think about that today. Scott Deacon, Dan Jewell, let me know where you guys are. Uh, we are trying to change the world 
into a, a, a really cool place, one art talk at a time. And I'm asking you guys, if you're getting anything of value out of these art talks, uh, Bill Clark, thanks for watching. Um, share it. Share it with somebody. Help them to make better choices for their lives. You know, because, you know, when, when you have your husband and your wife and the husband's telling the wife, you know, well, if you just, you know, didn't get all upset about this thing and, you know, and just kind of felt better and, you know, that she's not going to listen to you. That's, that's not the way it works. But she will listen to somebody else. She will watch a video. She will get inspired by other things. This is the way it works with Kathy and I. I can't go upstairs and tell her certain things. Is that, you know, she's not going to listen to me. But if her, if her sister says something to her or she hears it online and it's exactly what I was saying, suddenly the perception's different, okay? So it comes down to our ability to choose wisely, right? Okay, Ivan, I know where you are, Ivan. Uh, yeah, you're local, buddy. Uh, once again, we got wheels and waves happening this weekend. Super cool. Um, I also want to, uh, to mention, uh, that's, that's kind of it, guys. Before I get to the, to the to closing statements here, um, I want you to get out there today and try to stay present as best you can as a creative person because if it's your job to create things, whether it's to create a nice drive to work, whether it's to create a good lunch, whether it's to, to uh, uh, create uh, uh, you know, a, a happy working place uh, that you're going to your job today, uh, whatever it is that you want to create is that you have a choice to make that whatever you want. And the interesting thing about this, is this is the kind of the way I put it, is that when I choose and I decide this is the way things are going to happen, my minions, they take off way, way before I do. And they get out there and they prep the place. They prep the place to establish so that I get what it is. It's like you gave them an assignment. Right? Little minions, they're going out there, giving an assignment, and the assignment is, I just want to have a really cool day. I'm not saying what that means. I'm not saying that, that, that it's going to be cool because it's got to happen this way, this way. And the hows are none of your business. So forget about that. If you, if you have a relationship with, a, with an employer and it's, it's strained, it's not good, then don't worry about how it's going to get resolved. Just put it out there. Close your eyes and visualize. What would it be like if you had a great relationship with your boss? So great that he gave you a raise, like double, triple, something that was truly spectacular because all that is possible. Not only possible, it's probable, okay? I'm telling you guys this. I'm not messing around. I'm not screwing with you. I'm giving you the truth. And the truth is all the power that you need to succeed in any area of your life is in your hands. Well, it's not really in your hands. It's in your head. And it's not even really in your head. It's in your ability to accept we're like a radio station, right? To accept the radio waves and to act on them. Make good choices today. Wise choices. Choices that empower you. Choices that make you feel good. And even further than that, give that to someone else. Because the true power in our ability to use this thing up here is in our ability to give. Okay? This is what I'm trying to do for you guys here on Art Talk. I'm trying to inspire you to go out and to give good things into the world. It's your choice. And when those challenges come up, water off a duck. Let them go. Give good things into the world. That's it. Okay? Makes sense? As a creative person, power is all, in, all within you guys. Okay? Uh, I just want to mention real quick before I head out, before I let you guys go and do your freaking awesomeness is that uh, at the Murphy Museum, we have the Fireball Gallery, the art gallery that's going to be premiering. I'm so excited about this. This is May 11th. Uh, we want to invite anybody who's local, even if you're not local. If you're somewhere on the, on the planet, you can make your way out to the Fireball Gallery uh, at the Murphy Museum. We're building the world's best nostalgic, world-class nostalgic art museum, uh, first of its kind. Nobody has anything like this. Uh, it's going to be truly spectacular. We have artists like Johnny Martinez. Uh, we are building out something truly spectacular. Uh, I can't say spectacular enough times. Spectacular. I said it again. I said it again. See, I just I don't have control just because I'm choosing. I'm choosing right now to, to let you guys know about something that's just freaking cool. It's just super cool. We're going to have an amazing night. Uh, it's going to be a nighttime event, but not only that, it's going to be every three months. We're going to have a whole new slew of artists, and we have a spectacular, I said it again, sorry, we have a, a, a quite an extraordinary array of artists that cover the gambit of art. Uh, Bohemia Incorporated is a street artist, and uh, those guys are, are preparing something truly neat for us that's going to be really cool that you guys have never seen before. Never seen before. 
Uh, you got to go to their Instagram, check out Bohemia Incorporated on Instagram, see the stuff, the sculptures that they do, and they're creating something automotive for us. That's all I heard. I don't even know. I'm not even going to be able to see it. It's just going to show up. Okay. Uh, and lastly, lastly, practice gratitude today, guys. Practice gratitude. Uh, this is your gratitude muscle. You got to work on it. Uh, Mark says, thank you, Fireball. Great talk today. Thank you, Mark, for joining us. Get out there. Practice gratitude. Be grateful for the things that you have. Don't worry about the things that are missing. Let those things go. Just be grateful for what you have and more will come. Okay? That's it, people. I love you guys. I will talk to you tomorrow because our talk happens again.